In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the truth value without a truth table. This is part two in this series. We ended off with questions four and five. Let's begin with question four. If P, Q, and R are all false, find the truth value of the statement, if not Q, then, if P, then R. We have three components, P, Q, and R. We're told that all three are false. Now the way we read this is we look at the parentheses first and within the parentheses there's this condition P then R and then we look outside of the parentheses we have not Q. So that's our fifth column. Then you take the whole thing as a whole. Tilde Q then P then R. Let's fill this part. If P then R. When it comes to conditions, the only time that it is false is if the antecedent is true and the consequent, in our case R, is false. Every other combination yields true. Notice that P is false and R is false. Two falses make a true. Think of it as a double negative, so that's true. Now we ask, is Q false. And the reason why we say is Q false as opposed to is Q true, it's because of this tilde and that was explained in part one. So make sure you watch that again. So is Q false? It is. Now we take it as a whole. If Q is false, then if P, then R. Take a look at Q. Is that false? Yes. Now we have to find out if that is true. If it's true, then this condition is true. If it's false, then the whole thing is false. Is that true? It is. If true, then true, then this whole thing is true. The truth value of the statement is true. Lastly, in question five, determine if the statement is true or false. We start with four is being greater than five. Of course, that's false. And I'm going to call this part P. I'm going to call this part Q. And already it's false. So we have a condition where P is false the antecedent and the consequent is false. Because both of them are false, it's a double negative that makes the whole thing true. And there you have it. Two more examples on how to find the truth value without creating a truth table. 